Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I am going to solve this question on lead code regarding rank scores and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is medium and this question has been asked in Amazon interviews a couple of times in the last two years. Okay, so let's jump right in. We are given a table called scores with two different columns, ID and score and these being their data types. ID is the primary key for this table. Each row of this table contains the score of a game. Score is a floating point value with two decimal places. We are asked to write a SQL query to rank the scores and the ranking should be calculated as the scores should be ranked from highest to lowest. So sorting in descending order. Then if there is a tie between two scores, both should have the same ranking. And after a tie, the next ranking number should be the next consecutive integer value. In other words, there should be no holes between ranks. So basically what it means that if there are two rows and there is a tie, so let's say the rank assigned was one. So the next value should be assigned rank two. So both the rows are assigned one and one. And then the next row is two, right? So this is what it means. The order of the result is so to be sorted by score in descending order. Okay, so let's go through this example, right? So here, if you see the highest score is four and four, so it should be assigned one. And then the next highest is 3.85. It should be assigned two. Then the third highest is 3.65 twice. So it should be assigned three, three. And then the fourth one is 3.5, right? So it should be assigned four. And that is what the answer is. Okay. So when you learn about applications of window functions and you learn about fetching, ranking, paging, etc., these are the different applications of various window functions. In the ranking, you learn about three different functions, row number, rank, and dense rank. Row number is a function which always assigns unique numbers even if two rows values are same. Rank assigns same number to the rows with identical values skipping over the next number here we don't want that right so we cannot use row number we cannot use rank then there is a third function called dense rank assigns the same number to the rows with identical values but does not skip over to the next numbers right which is exactly in line with what is being asked here right so basically what we can do is we can directly use the dense rank function here right so let's start building this query. So from this table called scores, let's return because in the output we have score and the rank, right? So let's return the score and then the rank, but rank is being calculated using the dense rank window function. So since it is a window function, we write the over clause and here we need to rank the highest score as number one right so we order by score in descending order and then we calculate the rank right dense rank dense rank is the function and then this should be aliased as rank right so as rank and then it says order by score in descending order right so order by score in descending order. Now here, one thing you might have noticed that for a lot of videos, when I write alias, I don't use quotations, right? I just write the whatever the alias that we need to be. But here, if you do that, it is going to throw us an error. Why? Because rank is a function, right? So if I write, you know, if I remove this quotations, right? So as rank so this is a function so when you are aliasing something in sql and if that name resembles a function then you should be careful that you should you know include those in single quotes or double quotes you know to make sure that sql understands that yes you want to alias this uh, alias this column as something called rank not you want to call the function rank right so here if you write over you write dense rank like any select from etc anything you write here which resembles the name of a function in sql then you need to use the quotes right so that is why i have to use 
the single quotes right or double quotes i can use no no matter what right okay so this looks good let me go ahead and run this to see what happens okay so this is accepted our output is same as expected output and here you see the name is rank of the column right and we have the same value as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so yep, this passes all the test cases and this is how we do it again it is of medium difficulty but you know about this function dense rank it is like very easy question it is just one line of code right but you had to you know make sure that which of the ranking functions you need to use in this particular case row number rank or dense rank so if you remember all these three functions and how they you know differentiate from each other and how they rank different columns especially when the values are identical you can usually employ you know any of these based on the condition given in, on your question right so i hope this video was useful let me know if you have any better way or a more efficient way of solving this let me know in the comment section and until then i will see you guys in the next video